everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another collection video. It's going to be my mask collection. Um, definitely a good amount, but not too crazy. Um, I definitely, I finished a lot of masks and a lot of times some that I finished, I like don't repurchase or I just kind of, I have my favorites that I will continuously repurchase, things that I test here and there. Um, so it's definitely not as large as it probably once was or um, if you've heard me talk about a mask before and it's not included in this, it's probably because I finished it. Um, all right, let's get started. Uh, a top, top favorite is definitely the Colleen Rothschild Intense Hydrating Mask. It's one of my favorite hydrating masks. She, it's The formula is just fantastic. I feel like it's very, um, not a lot of frills. It's a nice gel-like texture. It feels great on the skin, gives your skin a great boost of moisture, and that's that. Like you can put a little thin layer on and leave it on as a moisturizer overnight, or you can put a thick layer on, which is how I normally use it, and leave it on for like, you know, 15 to 20 minutes. And I just love the way it makes my skin feel. I will continuously go back to this one. I will always keep repurchasing it. Another one that I always repurchase that I love that I've been talking about for five, six, seven years maybe the Dermalogica Multivitamin Power Recovery Mask. I wonder if they, I think they might've changed the name slightly. Anyway, this mask, it's kind of like one of those, it's definitely more of a hydrating mask, really helps to wake your skin up, nourish your skin, but it has vitamins A, C, E, and F, and it helps to increase elasticity and moisture content. But I like to think of it as like the mask that like pulls my skin together. So if you've had a, rough night the night before for whatever reason or your skin is just looking very dull and you need sometimes this is great for if you're going somewhere and you need your skin to kind of like pull itself together this is fantastic um but it just wakes your skin back up and i will never be without it the sicily black rose cream mask um definitely one of my favorite masks from Sicily and in just in general. It's like a smoothing, plumping, brightening mask. They have the Express Flower Gel Mask, which I don't have because I finished that. I do like this one a little bit more. It's, um, the Express Flower Gel is really just like a burst of moisture, just a really shot of water for your skin. This is definitely more nourishing, creamy, and plumping for the skin, which I love. I also really love the Velvet Sleeping Mask. And you can use this as a tissue off mask, which I like to use it as, but you can also sleep in it, just a thin layer. Um, it's a very restorative mask, really comforting, really nourishing. Um, so both of these are pretty much my favorites, favorite masks from Sicily. And I actually um, have a Sicily only video coming. This has been highly requested for many years now talking about like the Sicily products that I like the most um, and what are my favorites from the line. So I am pulling that together and that will be up probably in the next uh, two weeks. The um, Dr. Andrew Weil for Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Mask. Now I love this. I love his whole Mega Mushroom line because it's very calming and soothing. So if you have very sensitive skin, your skin's very reactive perhaps, maybe it's very red, irritated this line is designed to help calm it down and it really does so this mask is really a nice soothing face mask maybe you know any time of the year but especially in the winter if your skin's very tight itchy irritated that is a great mask to use uh, one of my favorite resurfacing masks that i've used for years and years and years is the tata harper um resurfacing mask is that what it's called yeah like I'm looking at the other side. That's in, I think it's in French. Um, and I was like, it is a resurfacing mask. And it's just a great uh, mask that helps um, resurface the skin, take down any texture, gives you like an instant glow. Really, really beautiful. Um, I haven't talked about this mask in a long time. And I haven't, you know, I really used to love a lot of their products, but I haven't tested a lot of their newer products um, over the years. But this still, uh, I can still stand by it and really love it. Um, and say that I really love it, the Eve Loam Rescue Mask. Now this is one of those masks where it, it does a little bit of everything. So it helps to like give your skin a deep cleanse, 
It's a little bit of exfoliation, a little bit of hydration, a little bit of firming. It's one of those, it's a rescue mask. It kind of tackles so many different things and checks off so many different boxes. And every time I use it, I'm like reminded like, oh, this is a really, really good mask. Um, and two masks that I love um, by Ren. So this one, the Evercom Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask. Another very calming and comforting mask, especially if your skin is very sensitive or you need something really nourishing and just to kind of calm everything down. This one is lovely. Of course, they're ever popular gly glycolactic radiance renewal mask, um, great resurfacing mask, exfoliating mask. I liken it to the Tata Harper somewhat. It, it's, it's a little bit stronger in my opinion, but really gives you very similar results. Your skin's very glowy and dewy afterwards. The Alpine Beauty um, Wild Huckleberry 8 Acid Polishing Peel. So this is a peel, but it's still somewhat of a mask because you leave it on for about five minutes and um, rinse it off. I find it to be um, like a medium strength and really gives your skin, makes your skin feel so smooth and soft afterwards. I like to use, so if you have, you know, if you have any type of exfoliating mask, my favorite way to use exfoliating mask is to do an exfoliating mask, rinse it off, and then follow it up with like a really intense hydrating mask or nourishing and calming mask. And I feel like the combination of those two really makes my skin feel amazing because I first can ex exfoliate, resurface the skin, and then put on something really hydrating and nourishing. Um, that's one of my favorite combos to do. Or I can do, I'll do like a really um, intense exfoliating mask and then just finish off my skincare routine with a um, nourishing face oil. And that's it. Uh, definitely try it. Do like a really strong peel that you have or a really strong exfoliating mask and then get one of your favorite facial oils and finish off after you rinsed off the peel, put on the facial oil and that's it. And it's just, I don't know, the combo, your skin's fresh, exfoliated, wonderful. And then you put that oil on. Um, I just love that uh, combo to do that together. All right. The Origins Hello Calm Relaxing and Hydrating Face Mask with Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil. Um, very calming, relaxing mask. Um, to be honest, it's nothing really special. Uh, the Burst Look Alive Hydrating Plumping Mask. I've talked before about this. For the price point, it is really nice. It's a great, very simple, I call it no must, no fuss, hydrating mask. Um, great price point. But it is, um, you know, you're not going to get a ton of um, uses out of it because it is somewhat of a small container. Um, but I do really like it. It has rose hip seed oil and aloe leaf juice. So I love those two together. And then pharmacy honey potion. It's always a favorite of mine. I like it because it's a very unique texture. It goes on like a thick honey. Then as you massage it in, it turns to this like creamy white... Um, cream, almost like a milky cream. And then you leave it on for 10 or 15 minutes and then uh, rinse it away. And you know, the, the honey aspect of it is very healing. As you're rubbing it in, you're getting a slight bit of exfoliation. There's no scrubbies in it though. And then you rinse it off. And I just love how my skin feels afterwards. That is a mask that I will continue to repurchase and always have in my routine. Two masks that are newer to me that I really have been loving is Folane has their own skincare line. They're ultra hydrating mask, really lovely, nice creamy texture. So like compared to the Colleen Rothschild, that is a little more of a gel texture. This is more of a cream. I mean, I, I do like them both, but if you're definitely more, you know, drawn to texture, this is gonna be much richer, whereas the Colleen Rothschild, let's say, is much thinner. And then the dual detox mask. So this is a purifying and resurfacing mask, but very gentle. So a lot of times, I, as you can see, I don't have a ton of mud masks in this simply because I find a lot of mud masks can just dry the heck out of my skin. So there's a few that I like here and there, um, but a lot of times they just make my skin feel so dry afterwards. And then I'm like, well, I mean, then I'm trying to put moisture back into it. And sometimes it can make my skin go off balance and it's just too drying for me. But this one by Folane is not. All right, the um, Drunk Elephant, the F-Bomb uh, Water Facial. Really love this. You can use it both as a moisturizer or as a tissue off mask. Um, I like it as both. It is, 
I find it not to be too heavy where I can't use it as a moisturizer. A lot of times things that are like sleeping masks, I cannot use as a moisturizer at night just because it's too thick. Um, but I can with this one, but I tend to use it as like a tissue off mask. Then of course their baby facial, I, I think of it as a mask. It's, it is a serious, serious exfoliating mask slash peel. Um, we're talking 25% AHA, 2% BHA. This is not for those with exceptionally sensitive skin. You need to patch test with this. However, it will blast off any texture on your skin. Your skin will feel like a baby's afterwards. But as I said, just you need to patch test it because if you're like, oh, I'm gonna be fine, it's, it's strong. All right, the um, Rose Face Mask from Fresh, really lovely. This is, listen, a lot of these masks I really feel definitely I get like a lot of great results with. This is, how do I, how do I explain it? I, it does a nice job. It's a rose face mask. It smells lovely, really hydrating, nourishing. It's more of a pampering mask. Do you know what I'm saying? These masks, a lot of the masks by Fresh, I like, I don't love, I like. And I gift them a lot because they are a very, consistent performing line of masks, like most of their masks are very consistent performing. They work for a lot of different skin types and they're a great pampering product. So they're great to give as gifts. And um, this is one of them. And I definitely feel like they're a little pricey, but uh, they're enjoyable. As compared to some of these others, I definitely feel like a lot of the, some of these others, like I really get some strong results with. I mean, they're pampering, great, but they're definitely gonna deliver. Now, um, this is the Josh Rosebrook Advanced Hydration Mask. This is unique because it's a very thick, balm-like texture almost. I'll link the blog post below where I reviewed it so you can see what it looks like. And um, you definitely have kind of have to like massage it in because it is almost like a thick balm. And then you definitely use a muslin cloth afterwards. So it really makes my skin feel very soft and smooth. Um, it is not my favorite hydration mask. I tend to gravitate more towards a cream or a gel texture, with the exception of the Pharmacy Honey Potion, but this is very easy to remove, like very easy. I do not need a muslin cloth. I can just rinse it right off with my hands. This, I definitely need a muslin cloth. Sometimes um, it does make my skin feel really nice, soft and smooth and very like kind of bouncy afterwards, but I'm not always in the mood to do the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a mask is a whole thing, but then like an extra step of having to get out the muslin cloth, there's just some nights where I'm not ready to do, I don't want to do that extra step. So um, it's definitely not my favorite. Summer Friday's Jet Lag Mask, love it, love it. I use it as a tissue off mask, not as a one of the million other ways that they say you can use it. I like it as a tissue off mask best. Um, this, the Dr. Robux Iceberg Hydrating Mask. Um, this is really nice. It's a very thin gel texture. So if you like that feeling of like a cooling gel on your skin, this is nice. Red algae, hyaluronic acid, and aloe vera. It's like a shot of moisture for your skin. Um, I'm almost out of this actually, and I really do enjoy it. The Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior um, Pink Plumping Mask. It's very plumping. It is very plumping. I love that. It gives a lot of moisture to the skin. My skin just looks very bouncy and supple afterwards. And that's it. As I told you, it's not a ton. Um, kind of have like my staples here that I always go back to. If I had to pick like top three, me, top three. Okay, definitely the Pharmacy Honey Potion. Love it, love it. The Kali Rothschild Intense Hydrating Mask, another one. Um, and probably the Dermalogica. Only because I've been using it for so long, it's just, it whips my skin into shape. And those are probably my top three. Though I do repurchase a lot of these and really enjoy a lot of these. Um, would love to know some of your favorite masks and I'll link everything that I talked about down below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.